What's up, everybody? Happy Friday to you. My name is Miss Emily. This is Miss Megan from West Coast Swing Online, and we are going to bring you some intermediate West Coast Swing for your Friday evening. So we are going to go through a couple of different options. We're going to go through a whip with an outside turn, an Apache whip, an Apache whip with some walks, and then a bow tie to end. And maybe we'll add a few walks in, in between there. So it looks like this. We have one, two, three, and four, five. Six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five. Six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. One, and two, three, and four. Let's try that again. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. One, and two, three, four, five and six. So that's a whole bunch of stuff, but we're going to cover it all. Let's go ahead and start with just the whip with the outside turn. So it's going to be your regular whip footwork, but we are going to add the arm at the end. So we have one, two, three, and four. From here, we spin five, six, seven, and eight. So again, leaders, good news. Your footwork doesn't change, but let's go over it. From the beginning, we have one, two, three, and four. From here, you want to make sure that your hand, your left hand, is lifted. You're still holding on to your partner. You're going to set her for five. She spins six, seven, and eight. So let's do that one more time. One, two, three, and four. We lift five, six, seven, and eight. So Ms. Megan's going to do the followers' footwork. Let's just get to four and stop. We have a one, two, three, and four. From here, the leader's gonna have that hand lifted. Followers have their fingers to the sky. They're gonna spin over for five <laughs> and six, seven, and eight. So if we did that without stopping, let's try that again. We have a one, two, three, and four. Spin five, six, seven, and eight. So let's try that all together. We're gonna stop on the four, and then we're gonna talk about a couple of different things. So we have one, two, three, and four. From here, leaders, like I said, our fingers are gonna be facing to the left, followers' fingers are gonna be facing to the sky. This is gonna give us, or give your follower the direction that they are gonna be traveling. So she is traveling over her right side for five, six, seven, and eight. Eight. Let's try that again. So reset the hand. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do that from the other side. And a one, two, three, and four. From here, leaders, like I said, you're not going to actually let go of the right hand yet. You're going to place her for five. She keeps spinning for six, seven, and eight. Eight. So there's a common um, tendency to let go of the right hand too soon. We want to make sure that she's actually on her foot for five, and then we can release the right hand. So let's try that again. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Are we all good there? Cool. Moving on. So we are actually going to do an Apache whip at this point. We are going to just, we're going to kind of baby step around to get, to get the idea of where we're going. So from here, as Miss Megan comes in, we're going to baby step around, switch the hand, and get to a right to right position. So it's a little bit awkward to do, but it'll be fun and there's a lot of cool things that you can do from it. So from here, let's just get to four and stop actually. So we have one, two, three, and four. You're going to start to put Megan's right hand to the small of her back. And as she rotates out, like I said, you still have the right hand connected. You're going to roll her out, find the hand, and then you're in that position. So let's try that again. We have one, two, three, and four. We change the hand for five, six, seven, and eight. If you do not have the hand changed by four, do not freak out. So from here, let's do it this way. This way? 
<laughs> this way. So from here, we have one, two, three, and four. At this point, I do not actually have to have the connection at that point. As long as Miss Megan continues to roll out, my right hand will find her hand. So don't freak out, like I said, if you do not have the connection by four. So let's try that, but actually from another angle. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna do it one more time and then we're gonna move on. Let us know if you have any questions. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, at this point, we are actually gonna use, you'll find that your hand again is on the top. We are gonna roll this into a shadow position. So it's just gonna be like an inside turn, but with your right hand, we have one, two, we're gonna roll her in, three and four, then we're gonna spin her out for five and six. Picking up the hands and ending in a cross hand hold. So let's go back to this position. We have done the Apache whip. We are now in a right to right position. Your hand is gonna be on the top. So we have one, two, three, and four. So for those of you who have done two step and a couple of the other country dances, this is our shadow position. And then we're gonna bring our left hand up and over as we anchor out. So let's do that from this position. We're gonna do the Apache whip into uh, the roll in into the cross hand hold. So we have one, two, three, and four. We switch five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, and four. That left hand comes up and over for five and six. So again, things that we can do in tight quarters since we are in lockdown for the coronavirus, and you probably don't have that much room in your living room. So let's try it again. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, oh, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Are we good up to that point? Cool, let's do it from this side, and then we will talk about the exit. Actually, we'll break some stuff down, now that I think about it. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, oh, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Cool. So let's go ahead and do the Apache whip and we will go into the roll in and we'll stop there for the moment. So Apache whip, we have one, two, three, and four. We switch hands, five, six, seven, and eight. This is just like an inside turn. So one, two, three, and four. From here, the left hand goes up and over for five and six. That's gonna be the leader's footwork. One more time, let's do it from this side. <laughs> We're gonna switch it up. So I pat you up first. We have one, two, three, and four. We switch hands, five, six, seven, and eight. Inside turn, one, two, three, and four. Up and over for five and six. Cool, so followers, you are doing the whip with an outside turn and then the inside turn footwork to switch back around on the anchor. So I'm gonna have Miss Megan go over that. From the top, we have the Apache whip. So one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. We go one, prep, two, three, and four. From here, she's gonna turn over her right shoulder for the five and six, five and six. Six. And you really won't have another option because your leader will have both of your hands. So, <laughs> and if you try to fight him, it will not end well. So don't try to fight him, just go along for the ride. We have the Apache Whip. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, one, two, three, and four. Five, and six. At this point, you will see that our hands are crisscrossed. We want to 
get out of that. So we're gonna do another inside turn. We have one, two, same prep, but I'm gonna lead more with my right hand than my left. Three and four, this is gonna come up and over my head for five and six. So if we baby stepped around that, we'll go from this side, just the last part. We have <laughs> one, two, from here we go down and up for three and four. So same inside turn footwork, five and six. We just have some fancy arms going on. So let's try that again, slow motion. We have one, two, these arms go down and up, three and four, up and over the head, five and six. Yes, so if we just did this with our right hand, no left hand, one, two, three and four, five and six. So leader, leaders, you'll notice that my left hand is actually looking for her shoulder blade, and that will come in handy later on for what we do. So from here, let's just do it with the right to right again. We have one, two, three, and four. We find that connection and we come down the arm for five and six. So just because we add that other arm or hand doesn't mean that it's any more complicated. It just looks cooler. So from here, we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So let's try that whole thing, Apache whip with the inside turn, cross hand hold into the bow tie. So Apache whip first. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. We walk one, two, three and four, up and over, five and six, inside turn again, one, two, three and four, five and six. Cool, let's try that from this side. So Apache whip, then the walk to the cross hand hold and a bow tie. Oh, one, two, three and four, five, six, Seven and eight, oh, one, two, three, and four, five and six, one, two, three, and four, five and six. Cool. So in West Coast Swing, one of the cool things about it is we can add walks uh, in various places. So one of the things that we're going to do this time is add a couple of walks after we do our roll in. So when we're in this position, you could technically walk for as much as you wanted, but since we don't have a lot of space and you probably don't either, we're only gonna do two extra walks so it makes it an eight count move. So we have one, two, three, and four. We walk five, six, seven, and eight. Then the rest is all the same. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So when we get into that position, let's actually do it from this side. Leaders, you're gonna be walking to the side of her. Do not walk right behind her. It will not end very well and it'll look a little weird. So from here, when we get to that position, one, two, three, and four. I'm beside her. She can even do a little stylish walks for five, six. That actually preps her a little bit better to do seven and eight. So followers, feel free to prance or move through your feet or do your little hip roll, whatever you want. Let's try that again from this side. One, two, three, and four. We walk five, six up and over, seven and eight. Cool. So let's do that from the top. We have our Apache whip, our roll in. We're gonna add those two walks in and then we're gonna do our bow tie. Here we go. And oh, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven and eight, oh, one, two, three, and four, we walk, five, six, seven and eight, oh, one, two, three, and four, five and six. How are we doing out there? Eric Zimmer said that you all are doing amazing. He's having an IPA and he's winning the show. Oh, <laughs> we love you, Eric Zimmer. Thanks for watching. All right, so I wonder what kind of IPA he's drinking. Enjoy yourself, sir. Let's try it one more time and then we will add the last little bit in there. 
So we have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, one, two, three, and four. Walk five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Do you remember when I said this left hand would come in handy later? <laughs> handy. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to use that now. So once we get into our bow tie, we'll go from this cross hand hold. One, two, three, and four. Sorry, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to stop on four. One, two, three, and four. From here, once we have this connection, we can also add a little rotational walk, because why not? for five, six, and we anchor seven and eight. So we just keep that connection a little bit longer rather than going all the way down the arm immediately. We're gonna do a little walk and then we will anchor after that. So from here, we're gonna do our walks. We have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, <laughs> one, two, three, and four, we walk five, six, seven, and eight. Cool. Question? On YouTube, Francis Joseph said, what about the two steps changing the weight from one foot to the other after the inside roll before the anchor step? For the leader? Yes. So who, Ask Francis? The, 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 no. Who? Yeah, the inside roll, two steps changing your weight, that's what follows coming out before you do your anchor. One, two, three and four from here. So your walks are just gonna be right beside your partner. You're not gonna be behind them. And your right side is gonna go forward, forward. At this point, you're gonna use your anchor to get back in line with your partner for five, or seven and eight. Does that answer your question? Beautiful, so let's do it from this side just so you can see. We have one, two, three and four. We walk five, six, seven and eight. So we use that anchor to get back in line with our partner. Super good question. So let's go over the walk around after the walk forward with our cross hand hold. We have one, two, three, and four. We walk five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, one, two, three, and four. We walk five, six, seven and eight. Cool. So if you feel like you have that connection on the shoulder blade, you don't necessarily need to keep the right hand. But if you're dancing with someone that you're not really familiar with, I would actually keep the right hand until you're ready to come down the arm to find that connection. And what I mean by that is once we do this inside turn, so one, two, three, and four, you'll see I'm still holding on to her right hand. So I do have the shoulder blade in my hand and she's doing a great job of connecting, but I also wanna ensure that I'm gonna rotate around and then I release. So, helpful tip. Because if you find, sometimes they just kind of go, which they're supposed to do, they're supposed to find the connection, nothing wrong with that. But if you're, um, if you're not used to dancing with your partner, make sure that you keep that hand and it looks just as cool um, as if you let go. Maybe cooler. Maybe cooler. Um, anything for the followers? Yes, so if we get to count four, we have one, two, three, and four. This hand that the leader is uh, putting on our shoulder blade, when we are connecting into it, the reason that we're going back and around is because as they move forward, their hand is moving back. Okay, so we have to make sure that we are continuing to find that connection as we walk, 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 walk. Because why not? Walk, walk it's and fun. eventually it'll be done. <laughs> That's just a fun thing to do. So if you get into that position, like Megan said, one, two, three, and four, we'll just start here. Make sure that you find that connection. And once you get here, if you want to practice this move, you can continue to rotate around, stay in that connection. Why? Because it's fun. And what else are you going to do? Ta-da! You can add as many walks as you want, and then an anchor step. All right, so let's do that from the beginning. 
What? This is fun. It's a Friday night, everybody. <laughs> Woo! So we have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, one, two, three, and four. We'll walk. Five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, one, two, three, and four. Walk. Five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do that from this side because it's fun and it doesn't take up a lot of room. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, one, two, three, and four. Walk five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, one, two, three, and four. Walk five, six, seven, and eight. Cool. Any questions? We're gonna do the extra move. Okay. Bonus move. So from here, since we're doing our walk arounds, we're gonna do the Apache whip. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna rotate our partner for five, six. We walk seven, eight, and an anchor step. There's your bonus move for the night. So let's break it down. We have one, two, three and four. You're still putting that arm behind the, uh, the back of the follower. She's gonna rotate for five. This arm comes up and over for six. We continue around for seven, eight, and an anchor step. Show that one more time and then we will break it down. So we have one, two, three, and four. We walk five, six, seven, eight, anchor step. Cool. Let's break that down. So let's get to four and stop for the leader. We have a one, two, three, and four. From here, she's gonna continue to rotate around. We step back or more to the side for five, six, seven, eight, and an anchor step. Try it again. And a one, two, three, and four. We walk five, six, seven, eight, anchor step. Cool. Miss Megan's gonna do the followers footwork. Let's get to four and stop. And a one, two, three, and four. That arm's gonna be uh, put behind the back. She rotates out for five, six. She walks forward, seven, eight, and an anchor step. So followers, one thing to remember, you should never fight your partner, but you definitely don't wanna fight your partner in this move. So <laughs> it will not end well. We have one, two, three, and four. You are going to be a little bit more uh, eager to change the hand so that you have the connection for five, six. We walk seven, eight, and an anchor step. So let's just get to four and stop again. We have one, two, three, and four. Leaders, even if you do not have the connection right away, make sure that you trace the waist, just the waist, around for five, six. We walk seven, eight, and an anchor step. We have the no-no zone and the yes zone. This is the yes zone. So let's try that again. We have one, two, three, and four. She rotates out. Five, six seven, eight, and anchor step. How are we doing out there? Doing good. Beautiful. Let's try it from this side. And a one, two, three, and four. We rotate five, six, seven, eight, and an anchor step. Leaders, one thing to remember. I did say that you can trace her waist. Make sure that you don't stay in the same position the whole time. This is what I mean. One, two, three, and four. When we're here, we're gonna be on one side of her body. Make sure that you don't stay that way unless you wanna walk a lot. So, the more, <laughs> the more you wanna walk, the more you can hug her. The less you wanna walk, the more you're going to trace the waist. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, anchor step. One last time from this side. It's a very proper walk. So we have <laughs> one, two, 
three and four, five, six, seven, eight, and anchor step. Any questions? Nope. Perfect. All right. Let's go over everything that we've done tonight. We did a lot. If you need to rewind on YouTube, you can go down, you can rewind, you can do slow motion, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Because we did go a little fast, but we gave you a lot to work with. So we started with our whip with an outside turn. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. We did an Apache whip. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. We did a six count walk or inside turn. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Into a six count bow tie or inside turn. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we added walks both rotationally and going forward for all of those, well, the last two patterns. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, oh, one, two, three, and four, we walk five, six, seven, and eight, oh, one, two, three, and four, we walk five, six, seven, and eight, and bonus move was the Apache whip with the walk around in our uh, hugging position? Sure. Totally. So we did one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and an anchor step. All right, gang, if there are no questions, no questions, all right. So make sure if you are not a, uh, a fan, a member of West Coast Swing Online. There are top fans out there on Facebook. There are. Um, if you are not a member of West Coast Swing Online, we do have a free ebook, which is a great resource. It's almost 400 pages of musicality and styling and footwork and everything you can imagine. Everything under the sun. Brian B. worked super hard on it. So that is something that you can put your email in and get for free. We also have um, a musicality course that we are doing right now, Musicality 2.0. So if you're interested in that, there will be a link that you can sign up for in the description below. We also have West Coast Swing Online, Country Dance Online, Social Dance Online, pretty much any online dance place you could have, we got you covered. So <laughs> look for that. What? It's true. We have everything. We have everything everything you could want. So if you, uh, we love doing these live classes for you guys. It's a way for us to get out of the house too. If you are looking for something specific that you want taught or you have questions, we're going to do a Q and A on Saturday night. That's tomorrow night and a 32 count choreography class, which is going to be awesome. And we're going to splice people together. So it looks like you're doing leaders and followers and all that cool stuff. So stick around for that tomorrow, 8 PM Eastern standard time. And then we have a Q&A with the West Coast Swing Online crew tomorrow at 8.30. So, and the giveaway. Oh my goodness, how could I forget? So, since we are on lockdown with the coronavirus, we are doing something super cool. We wanted to give back to the community because we know that um, all of us are kind of struggling at the moment. So, we wanted to, West Coast Swing Online is doing a giveaway for $500 for free lesson money to a teacher of your choice. So, if you win, we give a check to the teacher of your choice and a lifetime membership to West Coast Swing Online. So if you're interested in that, uh, Ben is going to put the giveaway link in the description below for both Facebook and YouTube. Um, if you share it with your friends, family, whoever, you also get some free entries for that too. So I think you get two extra entries for that. So if you're interested in that, support your local students, teachers, dance family, all of that, and we'll get through this coronavirus super soon, hopefully. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good Friday.